Today's video is about creating and updating an organization chart automatically from the staff list. Something like this. If you need to make organization charts for a presentation, the most followed way is to go to insert, then going to illustrations and clicking on smart art and selecting any of the hierarchy graphics from here and then manually editing the names and designations from this chart for new inclusions you need to add the shapes before or after like this this is okay for a small organization chart but this process is manual and takes a lot of time to create such a chart if the staff list is quite long you can easily understand how difficult it is if the list contains 10 12 or even more names it takes immense effort and time for you but there is an easy alternative instead you can take the advantage of a free add-in of microsoft excel which is called visio data visualizer for this you need to do two things first you have to get the data in this format let us understand this data first there are five columns staff id name title manager id and role the first column is staff id there is a name next is title and then the manager id since this person is the boss of the organization here so his manager id is blank because he reports to none but the second person sophia is the program director and he reports to the boss christopher so his manager id is 1012 which is the staff id of christopher similarly david anderson is the hr specialist and he reports to christopher as well so the manager id of david is also 1012 which is the staff id of christopher in this sequence emma johnson is the project manager and he reports to sophia so his manager id will be 1011 the fifth column is role which states the broad category rule of a person the second thing you have to do is to add a free add-in given by microsoft that is called the visio data visualizer this is a one-time process and for this you need to click on the add-in button if this add-in button is not visible in your ribbon right click on the ribbon customize this go to all commands and from here scroll to add in you can click on insert create a new group rename this as add-ins click on ok and clicking this add ins here click on add click on ok under the insert tab you will find the add ins option click on it type visio the microsoft visio data visualizer will appear click on add and this will be added to your excel sheet move this aside and go to the bottom of the adding there will be an option of continue without signing in click on this and this will show you the types of the charts that it can create there are some basic flowcharts like the quick start, horizontal, vertical, hierarchy, then the cross-functional flowcharts like quick start, horizontal, single phase, vertical, and vertical single phase, and the organization chart like quick start, vertical, horizontal, side by side, and hybrid. This is my preferred organization chart, so I will select this and click on create. It will take a few seconds and create a basic organization chart from its own data if you move this organization chart you will find the data from which it has created this organization chart but we don't need microsoft visio's own data we have our own data and we need the organization chart as per that only so what we can do is to simply select our data press ctrl c to copy this go to the table right click on the first cell and click on the paste value option you can see that all the data is now copied to the table that is the source for this organization chart 
still there is no change in the organization chart because we need to click on the refresh button it will take a few seconds and your organization chart is ready from the data that you have given to Microsoft Visio. You can copy this from here with Ctrl C, create a new sheet and press Ctrl V there. Accept and continue this. You can increase or decrease the size of the organization chart for a better display. You can copy this from here to any of the presentations or any document that you want it to move to. Let us get back to our organization chart to understand if there is an invalid data in the table, how your organization chart will respond to. For that, let us first move this table to our, to this place. And let us give a manager ID for the boss. Hit enter, click on refresh and you can see that there is an invalid arrow shown in the organization chart. Next, delete this one. Suppose provide here such a number which is non-existing in the employee IDs column for anyone. Let us give it 1500 and immediately your organization chart will give you the message fix the issues be below before refreshing the diagram and ID value in the manager ID column is missing from the employee ID column. So you can understand that there is no room for an error. Visio will detect it and prompt you to correct the same. Along with the source of the error, it is saying that the error is in the row number 3 and the manager ID is given 1500, which is non-existent in the employee ID. Now suppose we delete the manager ID from another employee other than the chief operating officer. Refresh the organization chart. Now you can see that the name of Sara is isolated at the side and she is now not reporting to anybody. Next one, let us delete the title of two employees, Robert and Olivia and refresh the organization chart. And you can observe that for Robert and Olivia, the designation is shown as staff. Hope you have found this video useful. Please share it with someone who also may like it and subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed to it already. See you in the next video.